seen um, broken keyboards, and uh, that's out of hex <laughs> versus, uh, versus anger. To catch live. What is it? We believe it is the most useful app you'll ever use. Now, look at this app. It's just sexy. It's simple, it's slick, it's metro. It's everything that metro is about. The power of this app is you just done one click. It's already recording everything I'm saying. In your drawer and you get a nice So line. it can bring up a palette. We can change things like blue, uh, increase, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, increase the blue, we can increase the thickness, change the pen, and we can add some better diagrams like that and it's done. Now this is the really cool thing. You want to save this diagram at a point in time. You can see the time that you started drawing this relevant point in the actual meeting that we're talking about right now. So all you need to do is just slide that across. It saves it. Let's talk about another type of thing we can do. We type something. It was completely irrelevant as things always are. So we go back here and we say we don't want to record it. We want to delete it. Oh, I'll just click on that, drop it down. That's oh, nice. nice. It'll be shaky as, but we'll go with it. We like it, it reviews it. Yeah, that was perfect photography there. <laughs> Where we go, save it, done. Here we go. So, uh, was there something like a, did I type brilliant and I think I did. Um, did I spell that right? People who know me know my spelling is terrible. There you go, straight to brilliant app right up the top. Imagine your entire life is recorded in this thing. You don't want to scroll back 10 years. So all you do is you use semantic zoom, find the month you want, brand, jump straight in, goes into a more detailed view, here's all your stuff. You can find the thing you want and go straight into it. But you see it presents in stat mode. Uh, so number one, no doubt. Uh, uniqueness of the idea. Great unique idea. You didn't start with something that already existed and attempt to reset it, came up with your own idea. There was a lot of thought that had gone into how to make the user experience really good. So there was a lot of thought that had gone into some cool gestures and the ability to tag things as you were going and come back to them. Uh, that custom dispose was just great. Uh, and there was a lot of metroness. There was, uh, you know, there was embracing the hardware features, uh, the smoothing, the swipes, the semantic zoom, the ink class, all those kind of things were, were excellent. As soon as you open MetroFlight, we immediately go and use the GPS API to figure out where you are placed. And the nearest airport is Auckland International Airport. Left hand side is immediately a search. So adhering to the Metro principles, which is content at heart, the main features immediately visible to the user, we've got search on the left hand side, what's ready for you to use it. JFK. You can search by the code of the airport or the name of the airport. That will immediately go and pull the information relevant for this particular airport. If you click on any of the headers at the top, it will immediately go into the next page, which is the details of the, um, of the, of the flight board that you chose. We're now looking at Open International's arrivals board. And we thought that a nice way to section this page is by flight, flight times by the hour. So if you go and control mouse wheel, you immediately get your time stamped by the hour, and you can go and pan into any time section by clicking into it. So let's get to, to 4 and uh, to 5 p.m. 4 to 5 p.m. Uh, immediately becomes visible on your screen. We can click onto, into it and it will take it into its details page. This page is good because it allows us to display more uh, detailed information about this particular flight and it allows us to put in a big map and visually represent to you the status of this current flight. By bringing up the app bar, you've got the option to pin it. You click on it, it gives you the flight number, your origin and destination, and you've got search chart and type in the flight number as well and it will do the um, same, uh, same kind of thing. So you don't have to be within inside the app to search for a flight number. And similar idea, you click on it and it shows you the, um, the details. Most services online will require you to go and split the airline code and the flight number. So what we've done is we've tried to make it a bit easier where you just enter a natural um, uh, airline code or, or flight number and we will do all the splitting to go and call the appropriate airline. Once again, very, very metro feeling. Uh, semantic zoom, snack view, Bing integration, search integration, all those things have really embraced the concepts of metro. Excellent pinning functionality. And the thought that had gone into the usability of that initial screen you know, if you think about when you fit, it's, 
the start screen of an application is a bit like a newspaper of the headline and the first experience doesn't compel you in, you might not go any further, especially if the person's just downloaded it. And the thought that it got into, where's the nearest airport? How do I present the information in an intelligent way? And can I scroll through? Excellent. They've really, they, they really sold it at the beginning. So there we go. So you can go um, and look at all the different categories. So what you can see here are ideas within ideas. So you create an idea, you create ideas within them, and then you create ideas within which is mutually exclusive collective exhaustion. Hey, look, the ambition and the cohesion of that concept um, was, we could just see how it could be useful. Mutually exclusive, collectively exhaustive. Collectively exhaustive. exhaustive. Yeah, and, and you, you absolutely own trying to build something to the concept you had in your head. Absolute top marks for ambition. You chose a very, very, by the time you'd added, Cloud, okay, which was absent all over the place. Uh, by the time you've added that into it, you, you, you set yourself a really, really, really ambitious challenge. Uh, you had drag and drop. You didn't even show us the fact that you had drag and drop that worked in conjunction with Semantic Zoom. I think you were the only drag and droppers in the entire group. Yeah, that took forever to do. Yeah, <laughs> well, I was going to say, so, so but, 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 you know, if you've got something really cool you've done, show us. Yes. Hey. <laughs> so we can take picture. Another cool idea and um, the extent to which you'd actually thought about what you were doing and, and, and planned it before you attacked it came through. Okay, so we actually saw that there was plan and rhyme and reason to what it was you were attempting to do. You implemented roaming back end storage. You might not have got to full on cloud, but you know it moved with the user's profile. You did the serialized bit. That was a big plus for you because uh, many of the other teams didn't manage to get to that. So if you thought um, other apps were sexy, wait till you see this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hub page, and you know it's got the four main con uh, areas, which is popular, fresh today, up, up and coming, and editor's choice. And what we've done here is we've also implemented semantic zoom. Let's go back to where we were. Okay, we'll load the image and you can tap on it and it'll bring up the title, how many likes it's got, and if it's got a description, it'll show that as well. Um, on this one, we've got an app bar. Again, you can view the comments on the image and it shows the avatar of the user that made that comment. And you can also view details of the camera that person used to take the photo if they put that up. The other thing that most users do is when they find an image that they like, like this one, um, they'll want to see more images right, of that person. Okay. So we've got Edwin, cats, and we've got all his images. What we've also got here is the pin. So you can actually pin the user. And so if I go back, start, it's there. His profile, and I can just click on his tile and it'll go back to it. You chose cool content, and it just, you know, in Metro's interface, it gives you this big advantage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you put all those photos into a nice white screen, and do you have to do a lot more? Okay, so, so, so definitely that the, 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 was clever and it enabled your UI design to shine. Oh, the detailed view and the, uh, of both the author and the photos played out excellent, like right? real cool UI design. That was really good stuff. So we log into our application through Facebook. You, you've already got your, your friend's network set up, high uptake, get a car for it. So if you're a driver and you want to create a path to see if there's any potential people to car forward, you use the screen. He's got his, his route. Choose this time that he's going to take that route. There you go to the get arriving um, button from the, the app bar. They create their own route, do a search, and then find, find oh, any search. Oh, just being green. <laughs> <laughs>
excellent choice to use Facebook as the login. I think it's the perfect way to go promote it to your friends and actually get effective car pooling in place because I don't know I'd, I'd want to just jump in the car with anyone. So I think that idea that you use Facebook for the login is really clever. Um, it, you know, you distinguish yourselves using JavaScript and HTML as well. Uh, and I know that as a team, you guys, I think that two other teams have really had very limited experience in new technology, so you're on this excellent learning curve. So you really rocked into that. Uh, I'm utterly, utterly convinced that uh, the creative side of programming is part of what keeps us in this. You know, um, there are only a few professions that allow you to combine technical excellence with creativity. People have changed the world with what they've written on a computer. Uh, and so seeing all of you just go so hard this weekend to build something, to come up with it, to work, as, to work with sometimes people you hadn't worked with before to create it, has been, a, been an utter buzz, and I've felt buzz in the, in the floor, and I've been amazed at what you've managed to come up with. It's incredible what you can fit into a weekend when you really focus on achieving a goal. Okay, geekiest code. We debated this one. Uh, was it the line smoothing or the custom dispose? Line smoothing, come on. Line smoothing. <laughs> <laughs> Best UI. This one, this one, this one caused quite a lot of debate. There were two, there were two teams that were incredibly close for best UI. Picture detail view and the author view and the general slickness of 500 px. One of that one. But best presentations go to uh, Mark and Mary. Yeah. <laughs>